Oh, hello. We're going to play some Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus here in a second. I'm Jake Friday. I'll be the Dungeon Master for this game. Uh, but before we start playing, let me do a quick, uh, moderately decent recap of what happened last time. The crew, who has yet to name themselves, uh, it's getting down to a point where I'm just going to name the group uh, at some point, uh, but the crew found themselves in Van Thamper Villa trying to stamp out the source of the Dead Three Cultist menace which was the Van Thamper family, and specifically Duke Thalamra Van Thamper. And they entered the dungeon area beneath the villa, and by chance made correct choices on what rooms to go to, and uh, extinguished a bearded devil, a barbed devil, and Thalamra, at which point Thavius Krieg, the high overseer of El Terrell, the city that has disappeared and been whisked away somewhere, uh, ran out of the room that Duke Thalamra was in and tried to barricade himself in a study type of room, but uh, unfortunately for him, one of his former Hell Riders from El Terrell Rhea Mantlemorn uh, stopped the door and people got in this group got in and he um, poisoned himself killed himself threatening to see them again in hell yada 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 threats blah 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 and uh, Rhea was very upset uh, I think it's fair to say no one else is very upset, but uh, then they looted the dungeon, and Kairos the Paladin found a talking shield, and uh, the crew previously found a puzzle box, a very ornate, beautiful puzzle box, and they also have found a prisoner named... Um, Philaster, Philaster Fisk, who uh, told them to go to Candlekeep. He's he works for Silviro Savikas, a wizard of some repute at Candlekeep, and um, they've got quite the little crew now, which includes a Tressum named Slobberchops, that uh, is a, it's essentially a flying cat. And uh, so we left off with everybody having cleared out the dungeon, and we're just leaving the dungeon right now. And what would you guys like to do? You've cleared out everything in the house. Um, what would you like to do? Aren't we supposed to take the puzzle box to the place? To the, um, to the candle keep. Candle keep. Yeah, yes. Philaster said that Silvira could help with the identify the shield and the puzzle box. Um, Philaster uh, will say, "Have any of you tried to open the puzzle box?" No. Are any of you particularly? We've been too busy killing sure, everyone sure, sure, i sure. mean i i should definitely take a look I, i'm pretty good at uh, deductive reasoning i i think uh yeah let me turn it over uh, me and gorgoth will we'll take a crack at it if you can't I... my name right just call me the hidden lord and um i you didn't get his I... name right <laughs> uh can we, Jar... can we hear that or is no. we don't hear gold okay he he can choose who he talks to but he's just assume that he's only talking to uh, Kairos um, out of character because I have written down Gorgoth is that not his name no that's incorrect <laughs> oh I've written down like in six different places so I've just misheard it this entire time it is Gargoth 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 
<laughs> Hold on, let me let me just double check that real quick. <laughs> Please do, because I have to rewrite it in a bunch of places. <laughs> its real name is Giggle Noise. <laughs> Giggle Noise. Or... Okay, nope, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Magic. Magic. Wait, it's magical? Mm-hmm. No way. G-A-R-G-A-U-T-H. All right, that is what I, I have now updated it to. Gargouth. Gargouth. Got it. Okay. Now, gang, we can really gaslight him in, like, a month or two and say it was Fred the whole time, and he'll... Really <laughs> I'm going crazy. My notes have always said this. I'm sensing a theme in your campaigns, Jake. <laughs> I've never done that. No. Have I? Do you not remember? Gaslighting you? Not me. I've just seen it happen before. Oh, okay. With the name. Specifically with the names. Different campaign. Oh. We can move on. Yeah. Um, I do like <laughs> names. Weird names. Um, if that's what you mean. Otherwise, I have no idea what you mean. Um... Okay, so what are you guys doing? So Kairos wanted to see the puzzle box, right? It, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Jerry or Jarvis reaches into his pocket, casts mirror image, make it look like the puzzle box, and puts his hand out for Kairos. Sure. Well, I won't overthink that. Um, so there's four of them, to, and I have to pick one? Yeah, Gargoyle. No, is it? Oh, minor um, illusion. My, sorry. What did I say? Mirror image. You said mirror. I meant minor image. illusion. Oh no, minor. I meant minor illusion. I'm sorry. Oh. Gotcha. That makes more yeah. sense. Okay. I was remembering spells completely backwards. That's cool. Also, um, my spells are all gone. Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, minor illusion. I'm sorry. Uh, Gargoth will say to you, Kairos. That's an illusion. Then I will not reach for it and uh, be like, thanks. Give me the puzzle box. Stupid shield. Just wanted to try out my new toy I just learned. And here you go. Well, my new toy was better. Um, and <laughs> take it and try to deduce how to open it. So, uh, one sec. Let me check something on Gargoth. Gargals. You're you're correct. Um uh okay. I'm good. Um you're gonna examine it, investigate. What do you want to do? Um investigate it and while I'm investigating it, if it's not apparent right away, I will ask uh I will I'll telepathically ask the shield if it knows how to open it. So uh <laughs> you're gonna try to open it essentially or are you just gonna like yes. look at it first i'm gonna try to open it okay um you realize it's gonna take you probably it's not like a um quick twist and a turn to open gotcha. it you realize it's going to take a while got it uh so you'd probably just uh, mechanics-wise have to spend an hour trying to open this thing. So I spend like a minute looking at this. I'm like, nah, this is, this is boring. Um, can we just like light the house on fire or something? That seems like a better idea. I mean, nobody they likes they the said Van not Thampers to leave any trace right. of the Van Thampers, right? Yeah, Room but out. we don't want to let... Uh... Well, if we if we light it on fire, like they'll, they'll cause other fires. Can't like can't like light the whole thing on fire. Can't burn down the whole nice area of town. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Like Charlie Brown, and I'll have dejected. nothing to. I, I uh, accept it, but look dejected. <laughs> I won't have anything to patrol. We're also yeah. only on flaming fish fist business, not like official city business so if we just walk out of a duke's house that we just lit on fire we may get in trouble still 
It's like borderline city business because older Raven Guard was in charge of the Flaming Fist and he was, was in charge of a lot of the city and went missing, as you know, uh, when he was invited to El Terrell, uh, which caused all this nonsense because Raven Guard was uh, doing a fine job of keeping the dead three cultists in check. Um, so yeah, it would be problematic. Uh, and you guys uh, in the mood for some beans? I could I could eat some beans right now. Yeah, Dude, I would love some beans. I thought we were sick of them this morning. <clears throat> Well, I was this morning, and, and when we exerted ourselves, I just feel I'm cal- calorically low. How about some beer? Most of like we were just from like 19 eventful. different places right now. I so feel like I should make you roll a constitution check for saying calorically whatever as Kairos. It's but... fair. <laughs> He's very in tune with his physical uh, health. He's Man, very, not uh... even fucking... Mordenkainen barely knows about calories. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> um, 18 is my constitution uh, check. It's not bad. You're fine. But you black out and you don't remember saying it. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just low energy is all I'm saying. I'm just, I, I, just beans, they hit the spot. It's, and the yeah. bleeding. The bleeding oh, again. Is, that's is there like a... the last thing you said means. <laughs> is there a closer safe house? Isn't the other one like on the other side of town? Yeah, uh, you can find one close. Uh, Jerry could also probably point you. Although Jerry, you could find somewhere for everyone to stay. But pe- a lot of the, because the the guard are more uh, nosy, r- just rules based. I guess more more lawful than uh, than uh, flaming like fist. Yes, so uh, maybe you don't want to do that, um, but it's up to you. But you guys, Flaming Fist, you get there's safe houses around. It's not hard to get out. You get out of the um, upper city. So, what would you like to do? Take a long rest somewhere. Like yeah. to find a safe house and and take a rest would be great. Yeah, let's go to a safe house, guys. Okay. Slobber Chops is coming with you guys, as long as you keep feeding him snacks. Otherwise, he's going to bail. I'll knock uh, three three snacks off for the walk to the safe house. Okay. Uh, and Philaster and Rhea are coming with you as well, because they're going to head to Candlekeep with you guys. Um, so you exit the upper city, and you find another safe house. And uh, this is a safe house you've never been to before. And it is uh, a little smaller, but still well stocked with beans. <laughs> Not the type of beans you were hoping for, as these are jars, glass jars of canned green beans. <laughs> I'm still on board. Ugh gross <laughs> uh, you can always depend on the fist beans ever they will always yeah. feed you beans they're a great source of uh food and Just this one the... didn't have a ruffian a uh, college asshole who left a bunch of open <laughs> jars out so you got that going for you do you clean this place is i mean this is this is what a safe house is. It's perfect. Um, and I start bandaging myself up and sitting down to uh, take a long rest. And now that we're here, I'll uh, pull the puzzle box back out and look at it. Yeah, Jerry's a, pulling, a little, period of time. pulling little barbs out of his ass. <laughs> and, uh, just, yeah, sitting down next to Kairos. Cool. Uh, you're going to spend an hour trying to investigate and open this thing? Uh, yes. Okay. With Gargalf's help, if he'll give you, it. You're going to ask for his help? I am going to ask for his help. He's gonna In my s- head. He's going to say, you should not be trying to open this. Your talents lie elsewhere. No, I think I can probably impress you. <laughs> you don't know everything about me. We just met like two days ago, or this morning. I'm in your head. And I'm in yours, buddy. 
Let me put it this way. You cannot open this. I spend an hour failing. Okay, roll a uh, intelligence <laughs> investigation check. Um, while he's also doing this, I'm going to be spending my time um, towards uh, learning a spell. Okay. Um, I get. I'm an elf, so I only need four hours of sleep. Yep. Uh, that was a ten. So, so yes. you're so you're doing this before long rest. Yes. Uh, Kairos. Yes. <laughs> oh crap! Uh, the dumb guy didn't listen to the DM. Um. So. Uh, now I make just a wisdom clicked. saving throw. Okay. I just clicked long rest. <laughs> Well, luckily for you, Jerry, you're not working with this puzzle box. It's, uh, it's not great. That's a six. Okay. How bad is it? I don't have enough <laughs> D6s with me. That's a bummer. Okay. Not the greatest roll on the first seven. Uh, that's 11, 14, 18, 20. Is Kairos dead? Oh my god. <laughs> it would be hard to outright kill me. Uh, but I, I am already down. He has, to just, he has to just double up your remaining... HP, right? Yes, go all the way past. You the take negative HP uh, as you're as you're messing with it. Um, it's very. You don't need to be intelligent to know how complicated it feels. You start to parts of it uh, mechanically move, uh, but you don't get very far at all. And um, after a while, you're working on it for a, about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, you feel this low screech in your head and uh, it grows louder and louder and you guys see Kairos just sitting there with this puzzle box to you guys <coughs> it doesn't look at all like he's making progress and all of a sudden you don't hear anything, but you see him get launched away from this puzzle box and hit the back wall, taking 42 psychic damage. Oof. Okay. And um, hitting the back wall will add another five bludgeoning damage. Okay. And uh, the puzzle box falls to the ground. No change to it. It's not glowing. Nothing like that, but all of a sudden you just hear the sound of Kairos hitting the back wall because him getting propelled back was not an audible sound. Um, but uh, how are you doing, Kairos? Oh, no, I, I face plant. I hit the back wall <laughs> and I go flat down on my face. I am out. I drop sure. Jarvis drops the spell book and runs over to Kairos, realizes he's unconscious, and shoves a uh, kind of slaps him a little bit doesn't wake up or anything and i shove a health uh health potion you will have to start over on your spell yeah okay i will i only also it takes the first one i was learning i realized it's a level one and it takes half the time so it really only takes me an hour so has an hour gone by yeah uh barely uh okay so i got one down yeah you got one um are you, are you was that double your health or no no Okay. No, I, I had 18, and my total is 41. <laughs> Wait, but... So you needed you... to do, like, another 20 damage for it to be a risk. I would oh, have I... had to go all the way to negative 41 for attack. Oh, uh, I didn't know it had to double up your, your max. I thought it had to just yeah. double up what you had left. No, it do... it's your max. That wouldn't make sense when anyway. Someone's, yeah. When someone's unconscious... At low levels, really. When someone's unconscious out of combat... You technically three. It's a save every six seconds. Yeah. So after like eighteen seconds, he'd be dead. 
But if he didn't anyway. make his... Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, but you shove a health potion down? I do. Okay, go ahead and roll what he heals. Uh, it's 1d4 plus... <clears throat> 4. 2d4 four. Four plus 4, I think. 2d4 yes. plus 2. Okay. Plus 2. Okay. We should go see if we could buy more of those. <laughs> Just throwing it You get there. 6 points of healing. And I get up coughing uh, blood. <laughs> Dude, what did you do? Looking worse than I started. <laughs> I can't open that. I'm not going to try again. <clears throat> and in my head, I'm just like, Gargoth, you said I couldn't open it. Not that I should <laughs> open it. Those are two <laughs> different words. <laughs> um, he, 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 in your head, you hear... You chose not to listen. It is not my job to impose my will upon you. And the fact that you decided to go on and try this against my suggestions makes me wonder if I should ask another member of the party if they wish to wield me. No, no, don't worry about it. We'll uh, we'll find something to blow up soon. What did you do wrong in this instance? Uh, didn't listen. Shoulda, shoulda listened. Is any of this being said out loud, or do I just see him staring? Nope. Again, okay. no, this is not <laughs> yeah. out loud unless I, I will say, like, uh, Gar- or I will if, if I... Yeah, okay, yeah. Gargalth will... Is talking to Kairos and Jerry. Three. Yeah, no, I just wasn't sure Kairos responding and was still in his head. No, I'm I'm saying I would yeah, yeah, say got that it. if it's yeah. requires it. Um, yep. No, this is all in my head. Yeah. So, uh, and I'll say I didn't listen to you, hidden lord. <laughs> and uh, that seems to suffice. Uh, Gargalf doesn't say anything else. But and uh, I go to sleep. <laughs> you have one level of exhaustion uh, right yep. now, uh, yep. which should go away after a long rest. That's true. Uh, and Philaster, uh, who has is has anyone picked up the puzzle box? No, nope. Philaster will go no. and grab it and say, maybe. I should keep any of us from trying to open this. I'll hold on to it. It was fine in my pocket until Kairos had it. I suggest, he hands it to you and he says, I suggest you don't try either. I'm not stupid. I don't know if that means you're not going to try or if you're going to try. I'm not going to open it. And Rhea hasn't said anything. She didn't say anything when Kairos went down. She is scowling, angry. There's like a cartoony... It's almost as if there's a cartoony dark cloud above her. But she is just... um, Just a dour-faced anger paladin. Um, Yeah, so you guys take your long rest. You're gonna... uh, Jarvis, you're gonna continue no i'm i because you said i started feeling tired from um i feel exhausted at this point you said right no as well kairos gets exhausted from being killed uh, oh i thought you got it got it okay uh then i'm going to keep going with uh one more spell okay so you mark off those yep monetary whatever um and you will have that done everybody get their long rest You yes, guys yes, sir. Okay. Next morning, of course, you have a splitting headache, Kairos. You don't uh, say Um, And, uh, yeah, the morning's yours. What would you like to do? There's plenty of green beans, breakfast green beans, if you like. I, I would. <clears throat> I have a hearty meal of green beans. Uh, roller coast. I, I didn't process it when you said it last night or earlier whatever time it is. Um, 
But yes, we should probably find a couple more healing potions. Uh, uh, I think uh, Jarvis, I believe I owe you, owe you this, and I hand, ah. hand you my healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good. Went for good. It was it was good. You were good for it. Yep, yep. I was good yeah, for it because I'm fresh out. Me too now. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> so basically, if I didn't have one, unless Jerry has one, I had one. I just handed it. I think we all didn't oh, we all right. get one recently. Yeah, I think you guys found some in the. This is village. actually the second time Jarvis yeah, we... has given shoved a, a healing potion down Kairos. That's correct. <laughs> he paid me back both times. So exactly, exactly. Uh, we did find some and we distributed them. That's why each of us had one again. But Rollercoast got. I think uh, I used mine. He he stepped out in front again and uh, <laughs> got got wounded. <laughs> I've only used like six of my nine lives, so <laughs> feeling good. Uh, uh, but yes, we should still purchase more, so that will be an errand for the morning. As you guys are getting ready in the morning, Philaster is kind of looking at you, Rollercoast, kind of just thinking, eating some green beans, and uh, if you don't. Um, say anything to him he will eventually say to you have you ever heard of Mandorkai's mansion Rolikos uh is it like a common tale in this world that's the mansion yeah, yeah I just want to know if it's common knowledge or if it's something like more exclusively known um it's not common knowledge, but it's not unknown to adventuring types and intelligent people in the city <clears throat> and guardsmen and watchmen and things like that. There's rumors... Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. There's rumors of Mandor Kai's mansion with the note that mysteriously shows up with your name on it inviting you to the mansion things like that most people don't believe that that actually happens all of you uh, except Kairos experienced that Kairos it was confirmed for you so it's not like you don't believe it um, and uh, yeah so it's um, really, I've heard of it why do you want to know as I mentioned earlier, I work for Silvira Savikas, who works at Candlekeep, and she's very interested in the Hells and is somewhat of a scholar and seeks to prevent incursions. And uh, I was sent here to investigate the Dead Three and some of the goings on in the city relating to the hells and one of those things was Mandar Kai's mansion and as I was investigating I came across some information of a tabaxi who was leading a group into the mansion after getting invited and less than half of the group made it out alive which is a hundred percent more than the previous groups that have entered the mansion. You wouldn't happen to be the tabaxi who I heard about, right? It's no problem if you are. I have no issue. I would just like to learn more of what you saw, what you... Uh, yeah, yeah, I was the leader of that party, and we barely made it out of there. Uh, can I, witnessing this conversation, uh, do an inside check on him when he said that he does not care either way, he just wants to learn? Sure. Fourteen? Um, you think he doesn't, I mean, he's interested, obviously, sure. but he he's doesn't, there's no, like... No judgment or or like you must be or like evil. a weird digging or no okay. there's just okay. like right. cool he it was more he's feeling awkward because he believes it to be true but doesn't know how to approach it appro broach the subject with rollercoast and ask that question so okay um thanks 
and uh, Philaster says, uh, well, so Vira may be able to, and I think she will, maybe answer any questions you have about Mandorkai's mansion, because I believe she knew Mandorkai, and um, you may be uh, interested to find out what happened to your presumably friends. Um, and I, we can discuss this further as we make our way to Candlekeep, but let's get going for the day. Yeah, sounds good to me. Um, so you guys are going to head to a shop, or what would you like to do? Yeah, if there's anything I, anywhere I can pick up health pots on the way to Candlekeep, that'd be sick. Uh, okay, so you can stop by a shop in Baldur's Gate. There's Eastway Expeditions, uh, which is an adventure shop. A female tiefling runs it named Scalm Shilvin. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's got a few healing potions that she sells for 60 gold pieces a piece. Uh, Does she have the next step up at all? Let me check. Potion of Greater Healing is 180 gold pieces a piece. Steep, and and who is it. Skalm? She's a what? she's a proprietor. She's a tiefling. Well, like she she's a tiefling. Cool. Yeah. Um, tiefling proprietor. She. As you enter the shop, there's a lot of jungle uh, equipment jungling equipment like mosquito nets and um, machetes things that don't really need to bushwhack in this part of the world but um, I strike up a conversation about that seek out kind of her her background comment on you know the fact that this is all jungle equipment and wrap up the the conversation nicely with a uh, about a how about a little bit better price for the basic healing potions sure she she um Tiefling to tiefling. Uh, she she basically just mentions that uh, when Baldur's Gate forged a trade alliance with Merchant Princess of Port Nianzaru in Cholt, uh, she was able to cra capitalize on all the adventuring parties that were heading from Baldur's Gate to uh, mm. Port Nianzaru in Cholt, and as this is like the last one of the main places you go to before you head to on a boat to Cholt. Um, but a lot of adventuring parties were une inexperienced and uh, they just she lost a bit of money on giving out credit to these green adventurers and She's been told by the few that have returned that uh, they're definitely dead. <laughs> um, so many groups went down there, and uh, just I've heard that about that place. Yeah, not a place to go. And um, yeah, so um, she uh, go ahead and make a persuasion check if you like on the price. I would like that is a sixteen. Yeah, she'll lower the price by five. Or I'm not going to do a percentage because I don't want to do the math. She'll just lower the price on the potion of healing by five gold, and okay. po and on the potion of greater healing, she'll take fifteen off. So it'll be one sixty-five for potion of greater healing, fifty-five for each potion of healing. She has three potions of healing and two potions of greater healing. I would like one of the healing potions. Right. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, I will ball out and buy the greater. Both of them? Uh, just one. Okay. She also says, I also have this superior healing potion here, which oh, no. um, I can give to you for 500 gold pieces, which... That's a little rich for my blood. Fair enough. Useful. We'll uh, definitely keep that in mind um, if it's still around when we uh, come into a little bit more money, perhaps. I turn to Kairos and say, hey, do you still have those those two vials that we got? Two vials? 
uh, you took the two files, I thought. Oh, I wrote that you did. My bad. Um, <laughs> fair enough. Which, then I have them. Which files? Uh, the V16. No, yes. From Duke's Powder Room. I didn't write that down in my inventory. V16. Usually I do. Are you... Good job, though. I assume you're going to want to know what that is. Yeah, exactly. We have that in Platinum Cameo? I wrote it down? I heard cameo. Because we, we had to thing. look up what a cameo was. We showed it. It was, it was a whole thing. Oh, right. And I guess you took it along. Uh, yeah, you're, if you ask uh, her, she'll tell you those look like potions of healing. But um, she couldn't tell for sure based on, without testing or something like that. Um, but she's quite sure that those are potions of healing. Uh, and, got it. From because um, potions of regular potions of healing are different color than greater, right? Yeah, and and they're slightly more volume, and uh, the the viscosity is different, and um, yeah, it's different. They might have similar color it might be a similar shade of red but there's the you wouldn't get them confused for a greater potion of you wouldn't confuse the two got it okay um anything else you would like to do in uh eastway expeditions uh does she have anything in the way of magical weapons or would that be she does i also She's... want to know generally in the in the city how common would it be to shop for magical weapons plus ones and the like well uh as far as what i have um i've got some some items and as far as what others have as i'm sure you know there's the city trades in books because it is so close to candle keep and therefore we don't have as many magic laden weapons as say Waterdeep has uh, but there Understood. are some um, there is the High House of Wonder and which is Gond's basically the biggest the main temple for Gond in all of the Forgotten Realms I think gotcha. me pulling I'd have to double check on the lore, but I think that's correct. Um, so there are it, the items are being made there, although they like to experiment. Followers of Gond like to experiment more than just pump out plus one weaponry like a factory. Sure. Uh, as far as what I have, I have a quiver of Alona, which is. Uh, are any Which of you is... I'm I'm intrigued. It's nifty. It's nifty. Uh looking it up now. I can tell you off the top of my head because I just used it. <laughs> oh, is that the same <laughs> That's the one, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and tell them. Well, there's a small compartment, a meeting compartment, and a large compartment. The small compartment can hold up to sixty bolts, arrows, or the like darts the medium compartment can hold up to 18 javelins the large compartment can hold up to six spears quarter staffs bows things like that drawing anything from the quiver uh is much like drawing it from any other bag so it's a ammunition bag of holding for all sorts of weapons and armaments huh. she tells you that uh this was just generated on this magic shop generator so it just came up randomly came up I'm, in the game yesterday so yeah, I'm glad <laughs> it's right here <laughs> i'm glad it came up uh she says this is because i like you guys this is 1200 gold pieces no nope. uh, um and she says uh i have plus one uh, since you were interested in the quiver i assume you don't use a sling uh, so no. I'll just skip that one. Uh, I also have, and she kind of goes around the corner and brings out this massive sword um, 
with it's a rather ornate hilt um, of silver, some like colored metal. Uh, the hilt that is, and it's wrapped in leather. Um, and she says, "This is a great sword." Uh, I believe some have called it a great sort of wounding. Uh, so if you hit something or someone with life force with this thing, um, it prevents any sort of regenerative healing to take place. It essentially keeps the bleeding from stopping. And, uh, so basically, mechanically, what it does is, once per turn, when you hit a creature with an attack using a magic weapon, you can wound the target. At the start of each of the wounded creature's turn, it takes 1d4 necrotic damage for each time, each time you've wounded it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It stacks. Um, it stacks. Uh, they can make constitution saving throws to try and end the effect. effect. Um, How long is the effect for so they can make and like if they keep failing it's yeah, yeah, yeah. i was uh, wondering if it had a duration if they kept failing uh it just keeps going oh but they can keep making the constitution saving throw or someone can try to staunch i believe i'm using that word correctly staunch the flow of blood uh with a medicine check uh well, I run my hand along the blade and say, this is a beautiful weapon, but I don't think I can hold this and Gargouth at the same time. But Jerry... And I just say in my head, I choose you, Gargouth. <clears throat> As you should. Jerry, my, Jerry, are you interested in this at all? It's kind of up your alley. It's not an axe. It does It's a 2d6. It would do 2d6. Um... Slashing. Yeah, slashing. Plus 1d4 necrotic. Jerry, you're muted. Can't hear you, Jerry. Oh, I read that one on his lips. How much uh, How much is that? This is a fine weapon that... <laughs> That's not what I asked. <laughs> ...is currently being sold uh, at a great discount. Uh, oh. 10,000 gold. Of 2,300 gold. Yikes. Oh, um, which yeah, is, I don't. Which is a. I don't have that much. Even if we are, are you? In the uh, hole I'm buying? still really in the hole from all that silk. Let me ask you, how much? <laughs> are you in the business of buying items as well as selling them? Yes. What do you happen to? Uh, what are you looking to sell? What would you be willing to pay for uh, this instrument right here? And I take out the pipes of the sewers. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> she asks, uh, do you know what this does off hand? Um, I think because, so I, because I tried to tune it and I wasn't, uh, you don't know exactly I wasn't what proficient it does, with but, instruments, but, um, you're, you know, it didn't attune, so you know, it's magic. Uh, you would need to identify it. Uh, I don't know if you have done that. I don't remember. Um, no, I did not. I don't, think we did. I don't think I think I had the time for it. And I think, uh, for identify, you can't. I don't think I have identify. That would be a problem. Yeah. No, I don't have identify. identify. It is in my it is in my book, but that's not one of the two that I did, unfortunately, like a dumb person. Um, no, I was hoping uh you might be able to give me more insight into that. If not, I'll well, if you keep have searching some for time, an answer. I can identify it uh do you all have time for me to identify it yeah i think so yeah she she uh pulls out her spell book and starts ritually casting identify eventually she uh completes the spell and she goes ah just as i suspected uh these are called pipes of the sewers and they oddly enough can summon rats and uh, if you're adept at talking and communicating with rats you can control them 
this isn't the rarest of magic items, so the most I could give you for this would be 400 gold pieces. Um, I'd like to see if... I'd like to roll to see if she's telling the truth. If I can tell if she's lying to me. Insight check. Being truthful. Thank you, dice. Uh, 18? Yeah, you think she's uh, pretty... Up, she's on the up and up. So she said, a discount. She likes us. <laughs> how much did she say it was again? Four? She'd be willing to buy it for 400 gold pieces. Okay. I mean, none of us can play the pipes. I'd, I'd rather have 100 gold in my pocket than those. Yeah, absolutely. Could we say uh, 450? Um, no, that's going to be... This is a an item that is going to be very difficult to get rid of, uh, as not too many people can play and use this. But go ahead and make a persuasion check. Sixteen. She goes. I'll give you four thirty. You have yourself a deal. Okay. And I did. Delete uh, the pipes of the sewers from your inventory and divvy the four thirty up as you please. I've also One, got twenty. One oh seven. Sorry. Uh, One oh seven gold per. With uh, we'll give the extra two gold to Jarvis for negotiating the sale. <laughs> What'd you say, Rollercos? I've also got twenty Azurite gemstones. Where is that from? V thirty six. If she's interested in gemstones at all, if not, I can go find a jeweler, maybe. I also have a pearl necklace that I was about to gearing out, so we'll see. You should really uh, clean that up. I do also want to run to the High House of Wonder. Uh, they, if they, if they're in the business, <laughs> they, they might be the uh, the place to do <coughs> the gems. What? I was just being smug about the joke I made. That's okay. <laughs> uh, what I said oh. was that the that I wanted. I telling Rollercoaster that. Uh, I do want to go up to that high house of wonders she mentioned. If they're in the business of crafting things, uh, that might be the place to offload some gems or, or trade them in some form. That's true. Uh, so the... She might be able to tell us how much they're worth. Was that weapon you were selling, is that a one-handed weapon? Can I use it one-handed? It's either, I believe, Jerry. It's so versatile. Let me, let me double-check, Jerry. Jerry, let me, let me double-check. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry, no, Jerry. it is a heavy two-handed weapon. Okay, thank you. You should. Old two. I am a barbarian supremacist who believes you should only use two-handed weaponry as a barbarian, <laughs> <laughs> or headbutt things constantly, uh, or throw tables, or throw tables. Uh, so the Azurite gemstones, there's 20 of them. She goes, these are, I'd, I'd buy these for, uh, since I gave you all a deal, why don't you help me out and give these to me for 180 gold pieces. That's about she tells you the math. It's there's, there's 20 Azurite gemstones. Um, she tells you what they are each. I don't want to do it. Um, so 180 for the lot. If you would to, in the future, be continuing to make deals with us, I will do that for you. Yeah, I, I, we seem to have started a lucrative business relationship here uh so she gives you 180 and takes the gems delete that from your equipment please can you i apologize refresh my memory since it wasn't important at the time what is the name of this place this is east way expeditions her name is scalm s-c-a-l-m shilvin a female tiefling since you're in the business of buying gems, and I reach into my pocket for, yes, Jake, a pearl necklace. Where'd you get this one? This was V16. 
in 45 the gold to everybody. Jewelry box. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The guy also, uh, Falister, said that they may be rewarding us in magic items at Candlekeep, so before we buy anything too expensive. Oh, he did. I didn't. I was talking to Gargath. I wasn't listening to anything he said at the time. So, <laughs> upon hearing that little snippet of conversation, she says, well, if you're planning on not buying any of my weaponry, uh, should I be not buying any of what you're trying to sell or oh no i would love to buy some of your weaponry i am just too broke to do so and would like to save up a little more money before i was I gonna say I, mean, I, I we don't know what they're gonna give us and they might not give us weapons at all for all we know they could give us a book and frankly i'm a slow reader so and I take out my morning star and so I just say like if if you come across anything I like this feels nice. This is like this is what I'm looking for and I hand it to her so she can like feel the weight of it. Get, no get no feel uh, for you it. can hold on to it. It's a one it's a one handed <laughs> it's mace or morning it's star. A, it's a morning star. Um but if you I mean if you come across any interesting ones, uh say someone uh, someone comes in uh with one of these on their hip and it looks interesting, uh I'll keep an I'd eye say, out. I'd say keep an eye out. Definitely. Uh, this pearl necklace, though, I can offer you 220 gold pieces. What do you guys think? 220 gold sound fair? Yeah, that sounds good. Good. I mean, all right, so I'm just going to float this idea. It does sound good. It would also look wonderful on me. <laughs> but I'm fine either way, whatever you guys want. I'm more for the money on this one. I can't. I just can't right <laughs> now. Then we take the money. Uh, okay. so Delete 200. pearl necklace and add 220. 55 gold per person. You all have basically cleared me out of any of my gold I had on hand for just this situation, so... Uh, if there's anything else you'd like to sell, I would. You'd have to give me a few hours to procure. Is, I think is, the good news is, is uh, you also cleared us house out, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, excellent. Is uh, I, uh, is Falister still with us? Yes. I turn to him, and do, don't we need okay. books to get into Candlekeep? Don't we have to bring a book to get in? Uh, indeed, we do. I was going to as soon as we finished in Baldur's Gate and left the city, I was going to suggest we stop in Little Kalimshan. I have a home there where I can grab a book that will suffice, I believe. It's a recipe book. Um, real quick, uh, uh, Phil, I've been calling you Phil. He just called you Fallister. Should I be calling you Fallis? Yeah, yes, please. Uh, that that Got it. would be great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. I apologize for mispronouncing your name, Phallus. Uh, we'd, we'd love to go to your home. It's perfectly f fine. Uh, I appreciate you doing your best. Uh, before we head out of here, I would like to ask her <laughs> if there is anything that maybe we could keep an eye on her while we're out on her adventures. If she's looking to procure anything special that maybe we could bring you... for her. Are you heading anywhere interesting? Uh, our adventures, I don't think we have a direct course at the moment, but our, our adventures take us around. So Rhea speaks up. First time she's spoken in a day, she says, we're going to hell. <laughs> Riding there. That's, by the yeah. look at your face. That's true. <laughs> we're going to hell. And Skalm, well, uh, and Skalm you, is like, you were, you were saying? Uh, no, I mean, she's probably right. If, if you need anything there. <clears throat> well, uh, <laughs> in, while we're out. 
if <laughs> you find I've heard of these things called No, it. I don't believe. If you, th- I've heard of these things called soul coins, where they put souls in coins. As obviously, gold doesn't hold as much weight in hell as it does here. Uh, if you happen to come across any of these soul coins, I'd love to see one or two. And yeah. If we come across any, I'll bring them back. Why does this sound like John Constantine? Because <laughs> it's uh, hell, maybe? Uh, yeah, I guess. And uh, I don't necessarily need this um, metagaming brain, um, but Kairos definitely has a short conversation with Gargouth at the mention of soul coins and hell currency to see what he knows about it. And uh, Gargoth says... I've heard that hell has currency of what you describe, but I cannot confirm it, as I am a celestial being. Right on. All right, I was just curious if you knew anything. I've never heard of them. They sound fancy. I always like coins. As I like jingle my coin pouch because it is—I don't know, guys. It's wonderfully like, heavy at the moment. If there's souls trapped in a coin, that's like really kind of a bummer. I, don't really I mean, but dude, I mean, are they actually captured in the coin? Like, there are some. You're worried about someone's soul, and we're going to hell right now. Are you ready for this? We would be taking a soul out of hell if it makes you feel any better. That's a good point. And yeah, maybe but it's still trapped person. in a maybe coin. It's, maybe it's a terrible person in the soul coin. What oh, okay. They, they were in hell. hell. They were so. in hell. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, we'll find out. None of us seem to really actually know if this is a real thing or just a story. Yeah. Honestly, so. I, <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of things I would love to take off your hands from hell that it are completely common there but rare here i just can't if you're i'm still not entirely sure you're serious but if you're serious and you're actually going to go there i am entirely unprepared to give you a list a shopping list uh gotcha what about if i of things of, from when i go on a trip um sometimes i get like a calendar from that place sometimes i get like little <laughs> Little plates with like the names. So I shot get you glasses. Plates. I get you shot. I get you shot glasses with hell on them. What about like a little jar with like some sand from a hell beach? If it that sounds... looks very different from normal sand and is very clearly infernal sand, then of course yes. And to answer your question, sir. Uh, Yes, I would love a shot glass from hell or a uh, knick-knack goo of any kind. D- hell's uh, gift shop, if you find one. What if we found you a passage in and out of hell? I'm not going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, we, we do have that. I mean, as I heft my morning star... <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm not that I'm <laughs> I said I think, in I think we're out, good on our... not just in <laughs> uh, is there anything yeah, else I'm good I, I'm good. I believe I'm good uh, where's this high house of wonder just, just point it's in the upper this, city this uh, it's I can, I everyone knows where it is especially the guard so Dave question, can you there question for the group I think Pretty sure I know the answer, but I know I drank one of the bottles of wine. We left the rest down there, right? Because I highlighted it, but I didn't write if anyone took them. Or I remember I we talked about grabbing them out. Okay, cool. Then I'm unhighlighting it. Well, I would like to go to the High House of Wonder. As we walk out of the store, I propose that to the group. Let's go. Sure. I'll lead the way. Check it out. I don't know. I just, I just, 
I just want to be able to hit things a bit harder. Did you notice that some of the things we were hitting, it just didn't didn't quite do the job? Yeah, yeah, I noticed I, that. I couldn't couldn't say I noticed that. I was hoping Candlekeep was going to help us out with that one, to be honest. Oh right, right. Maybe we should go there first. We know about the high ass wonder. I'm very forgetful. Uh, let's check out Candlekeep. You're right. <clears throat> This is a few days journey to Candlekeep, by the way. Bummer. Yeah, let's go to the high house first. Let's go to the high house. Let's just let's just see. I mean, maybe they won't have anything, so it won't matter. Let's go. Okay, they seem the second. religious type. Maybe they'll pull it out. High house is where we're getting the book. No, high house is where the it's Hall of gone. Wonders. Got it. Hall of Wonders, not high house. Although Not. both sound equally, sure. we're getting the book from um, his home, Callum, his house in Callum Sham, Little Callum Sham, something like that. Oh, the High House of Wonders. That's what I was getting confused about. Um, the Hall of Wonders. Uh, Those are two different things in this world. Yeah, the Hall of Wonders oh, cool. <laughs> is. A sh kind of a museum slash showcase of Gon's perfective, perfected inspirations. Mm -hmm. Holds marvels ranging from lockboxes cleverly disguised as ordinary furniture to unparalleled wonders such as steam-operated mechanical or orchestra, a steam dragon powering a heavy engine for moving immense weights, an elaborate orrery, and nautical tools. Small cards beneath each display indicate the purpose of these curious tools and credit the inventors and lands of origin where known. So much steam. Uh, the Hall of Wonders... Um, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. So that's the High House, the museum? Yes. And um, the Hall of Wonders is more of like a massive, not open to the public uh, lab and basically prototyping area. Kind of like yeah. where Dave works, except, you know, magical. <laughs> Gotcha. So they don't have like a gift shop where they sell the fancy magical weapons? No. Oh. <laughs> you can try to buy some museum pieces, which will be museum very prices. likely way out of your price range. That's They're like Disneyland gotta prices. Get them, they got to get them tax write offs. No, no, no. It'll be like get going the to the Louvre high. and trying to buy something. <laughs> right. Like, uh, uh, well, I, I assume we burn some time. Uh, looking around the museum for a moment or two before learning this is not the place where we can buy fancy weaponry and we continue on to candle keep. Hey guys, like hypothetically <laughs> speaking, if we're planning on going to hell, should we do like one big ridiculous heist right before we go to hell? Because like who who's gonna follow us there? I mean that that's that's very reasonable. Uh the problem is uh one, you're a guard and two <laughs> Um, He's inside a guard. job. We, we might come back. <laughs> it's possible. I'm I'm counting on coming back. Or is it? Whoa, whoa! Is what? this a suicide mission? Did, did I, I sign up? For... I like to run these things by you, Kairos. <laughs> I'm now very alarmed <laughs> that I got in well over my head. Not the first time. Um, I mean. We did tell you some of our friends didn't come back, right? Yeah, one of those friends was mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys like, should like, share... Like we were tight, tight. Let's like, go over the that. dark secret again, just to refresh your... <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> ...your memories. Um, so, clearly, Falister Fisk knows about it now. Uh, it happened in Mandor Kai's mansion. The other members of your... You were sent invitations with your name on it that looked very fancy and bloody and beautiful. And um, there had been rumors about these things. Uh, you investigated. And uh, other members of your group were murdered, found hung by chain and hook through their eye sockets, like this way. And... Uh, 
some of them were your friends. Uh, maybe they were just work friends. But um, it was a very traumatic experience. And Rollercoast was a leader. Jerry um, had a close encounter and almost got killed himself. Uh, the closest encounter out of everyone. Uh, Gary was there, but... Um, or I only caught a glimpse of it. Only caught a glimpse of it. Had the least close encounter, but was very much aware of the insanity. Kairos had a partner, friend, whatever he wants to define it as, uh, in the group who was one of the victims of these the mansion and the chains so if yeah. you want to inform each other of <coughs> any other specifics about that feel free I mean so I heard that conversation that, that Rollercoast just had uh, with with Falister yeah yeah back at the okay. uh, back at the um Oh man, that I think he's referencing like that whole thing that went down at that mansion, guys. I don't know if I ever told you about it, but just I heard chains like just like they were like alive and they were killing people and I just I just like woke up the next day and I don't know why the chains didn't kill me, but they didn't Oh man, I don't know what was in those chains. It might not have been just chains. It could be something in chains, just killing people. I mean, I saw the chains moving for sure. And you, and you attacking. thought they were disappearing into the wall at some points, but then, as as a magical, some was coming from somewhere not here. Uh, and then you also thought that it was in the walls as well, uh, which doesn't one does not prevent the other from being true. But uh... I should be dead. I don't know why I'm not. I have like serious survivor's guilt. I don't know why the chains just didn't choke me to death and strangle me. Philaster says, "I don't know why you're not dead either." Everyone who has entered that mansion has not exited the mansion and unless they were in there partying which i doesn't sound like they were they're no longer here i i look very sullen and i just look to jerry and i say you should be dead and idra should be alive she was wondrous and just a phenomenal fighter. I, I don't understand how she died. All of you know Idra, because uh, she, she was Idra. the one who died. <laughs> she was a female female tiefling who died. I miss Idra, and that's how you met Kairos because he was trying to find out what happened to her. Um, we served in the fist together, and uh, well, we we parted ways. We parted ways with the fist as well, and. I mean, we both stayed in Baldur's Gate, so when she went missing, I... Well, you know. She should be here. And Rollercoast, it was all your fault, since you were the leader, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't feel great about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jarvis leaves out the part that he saw it and ran like a little bitch. <laughs> part of you was also... Uh intrigued by it because you'd never seen anything like that in your but life. I definitely but I definitely pissed my pants. Sure, sure, sure. And sure. ran. Um yeah, so uh you guys I will remind you have you visit you have not visited um Senor Fallister's house? No, Senor uh at the Zaj. 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 I was going to recommend before we left the city for Candlekeep, but we had still had to go to What's-His-Face's house first. So What's-His-Face's a... house, Falister's house is in Little Cal Calumshan, which you all know is outside of the city gates. It's in... For some reason, I thought it was in the city. No, like it's in the outer city. Like a neighborhood. 
Gotcha. It's in the outer city. It's a walled community. Kalashite inhabitants. Uh, it's just like an enclave of Kalashite people. Gotcha. Thanks for the on note. The way. We should definitely check in with Zaj and let him know about the Van Dampers. Yeah, I mean, you, Zaj, you, you can't get out. Of, nobody's being let out of the city or into the city currently. So your best bet would be talking to Zaj and, f- number one, Just collecting <laughs> collecting what you're owed. Right. Uh, yep. And talking to him about getting out. We should we go see Zaj that. again. <laughs> yeah, sounds like the good next move. Cool. So you guys head to the gates where Zodj is still doing... It's been a few days and he's still punching people <laughs> in the head. I um, greet him by punching a random person in the face. And they... That's my, that's my greeting mm-hmm. to Zodj. <laughs> and the 12-year-old you punch just goes... Hey, hurt. they're getting... Didn't hurt. They're, they're getting older, so I'll take it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm targeting larger people every time. <laughs> One of these days, I'll punch an adult. <laughs> <laughs> and when you punch that 12-year-old, you hear Gargalth say, yes. <laughs> I'm like, right, right. See, this is why you're with me. Uh, Zodge <laughs> greets you and says, oh, are you guys taking care of the problem? Yes, sir. Oh, you uh, took care of it. All right, boss. Van Tampers are uh, gone. You don't have to worry about you literally any of them. You you killed all of them. Well, not the good one. There's the the one good one, but what he good left. One? The city. Uh, no we good told ones. you. We told you about him. Uh, more more car more cough. He, he didn't want to join. We we didn't ask him to join the fest. He was cool. He was fine. Mortlock is not a. Mortlock. He's the best out of them, but he's not a good person. Oh, he wasn't as shitty. So and he, yeah, and he left. So and he left, and he left the city. So the others are dead. We'll the, send the someone to hunt him down and kill him. <laughs> I mean, you All don't right. have to. But listen, if you don't believe, he did me, help us kill. You know, we we knew him for yeah. all of eight minutes. Let so... me ask you: You were in the villa. Did you happen to go into his room? No. No. There's rumors that uh, he corresponded and creepily corresponded with those much younger than him. Oh, we'll kill him. He just corresponded. Eight minutes. With we them? had eight minutes together. The rumor, he seemed okay. I don't know. You like he wrote it's letters just a with them. Pal, Jerry. You think like... a grown man is just gonna have a pen pal with a, a younger person? Um, I flip back to my <laughs> Jerry. notebook. Jerry's probably like, yeah, I do that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but I he would a... be in the most innocent way. Like, I had a. Jerry. I had a pen pal in Avernus. <laughs> or I had a pen pal, not in Avernus. What was the other city that fell? Elturel. Elturel. I had a pen pal in you Elturel. You had a pen pal in hell. <laughs> you. <laughs> I get him confused, guys. Uh, yeah, I have a pen pal in Elturel. Um, so Zaj says, well, that's good news. Uh, the Van Thampers were shit heels. If I ever saw a shit heel in my life, and I've seen a fa- my fair share of shit heels, especially being here, so uh, I still owe you, I believe, one fifty each. That you do. Thanks for the advance. It did help. Uh, good. I'm glad it did, and I'm glad you completed. I also need your badges, your flaming fist uh, t- b- b- temporary badges. Well, I'll give you the one you gave me, but I'm, I'm going to keep the one that, that... I'll keep mine. Are you planning on staying? I mean, no, but it's but it's mine. But, but we'll be back to help some I mean, more. you can have the one you gave me. Here's the temporary one. I'm your superior officer. I can have whatever I want. You're going to knock me out of the fist? I'm not knocking you out of the fist. If you're out of the city and you're... You can get it when you come back. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Uh, while this is going on, um, your meeting with Zodge is interrupted with the arrival of a few Flaming Fist soldiers clad in plat, plat, wow, wow, plate plat. armor, plat armor, plat that armor, be, that would just be like dirt, <laughs> like I a, guess, like, like, a, like a flannel plaid. No, I said plat, so like, I'm thinking like P L A T T E, as in like. A river plat. 
Uh, so it would just be clay, I guess. Anyways. Well, I heard plat like woven <laughs> hair, so like their braided hair armor. Either way, I misspoke, and I meant plate armor. From behind the, this uh, wall of swords it's and all steel, welded together. Yeah, steps an armored woman with a white cloak and graying hair. And she says to Zodj, Are these the maniacs who stirred up every nest of rats in this godforsaken city, Zodj? And Zodj, surprised surprise to just, he's got a surprised look on his face, says, uh, Commander Porter! And his voice changes. Uh, I was told you wouldn't be back in Baldur's Gate for at least another ten day. And she goes, that's what the city government wanted you to think, Captain. She turns to you all and says, I trust you've been adequately compensated by... The General? Zaj? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Captain Zaj, yes, we have. Uh, yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Fantastic. Uh, so, I am... Uh, I'm here to protect the city and possibly take over for older raven guard because i assume you uh didn't track down older raven guard and just took uh, out yeah. wait he's not dead i thought everybody thought he was dead do we not think he's dead i don't know i think he's i think he's dead uh that's why I i'm here because he i'm gonna take over but he could i don't i haven't seen the body no, oh, fair. Okay, me neither. Uh, as no. far as we knew, he was an El Terrell when it disappeared. Uh, and um, Speaking we... of El Terrell, just before I forget, sorry, uh, you might want to know, uh, Krieg, he's dead. We do know that. We saw that one. How did he die? And as she says that, Rhea says, I killed him. I smashed his face in. And she goes... You did what? Are you not? Are you? Are you? Are you not a hell rider? And Rhea says, "I smashed his filthy, evil face in, and I enjoyed every second of it." And she is surprised and looks around at you guys and said, "Did you murder Thavius Krieg as well with this woman?" Whoa, whoa, whoa. Technically, he was already dead when she started smashing his face in. He yeah. actually took a vial of poison, and then she was smashing his face in because she was not happy about it. That's the third sentence we've heard from her since yesterday. She's <laughs> going through some stuff. No offense, Rhea, you're going through some stuff. Make a persuasion <laughs> check, and if you'd like advantage, that will serve as the group's check. Okay. Holy moly. A four and a five for an eight. <laughs> she clearly doesn't believe you guys, the whole group. Uh, she's just like, and Rhea's just stone faced, just the dour expression fits her story perfectly. Uh, and uh, Commander Porter says, I should take all of you in right now and throw you in chains. Wait, would you believe a shield if it told you? Because my shield was there, <laughs> and he'll vouch for us, I swear. As far as I can tell, that shield looks evil as fuck. <laughs> He's been super cool. It doesn't. I'm, I'm not going to believe a shield. But here's the deal. All right. <laughs> here's the deal. You helped Baldur's Gate and protected it from the Dead Three. You were paid for that. But... I will allow you to exit the city. If you continue to hunt down the menace of that has befallen not only Baldur's Gate, but El Terrell, find out what happened. Uh, I can provide you with horses if you so need them to go to wherever. That shield, I don't know if you've, other than talk to it, if you've, talk to any scholars about it but you might want to take it to Candlekeep and uh, Falster is just nodding his head <laughs> I mean uh, we, we, we're going to Candlekeep I'm just, I, and, I can shoot a fireball from it and as far as I'm 
concerned. As far as I'm concerned, you're lying. So, uh, do you want to see? Don't. Okay. Um, (laughs) We're there's public. (laughs) Well, look, right. (laughs) This huge crowd, it would be perfect. So she says, Can you imagine how? (laughs) I don't have the time to deal with all of you and figure out whether you murdered Thavius Krieg, whether he deserved it what your involvement was there's this craziness going on and we've got to get a control of the city so i will i can provide you with uh horses to candle keep and a mule drawn cart laden with food and drink and Sounds things of great. that nature uh but you'll have to leave now it's and she turns me. to you Jerry and says i will be reporting this to Shavina Papina, you're... <laughs> no, 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 please, 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 don't, no, 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 please, 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 don't hey. do that. You don't beg to me. You don't do that. I'm going to tell Shavina, and you're going to take it on the chin whenever that time comes. Ugh. I don't know how you guard are taught and... Yeah, pouting, just as I suspected. Anyways, Zaj... Go get them some horses and a mule and some food and water and some some clean brownies. wipes. Brownies. Can we have some brownies? Jerry just starts petting slobber chops. Uh, Zodj, Zodj says, uh, what are brownies? Are, are you flaming? I'm glad I took the, the badge away from you. There's only beans. There's bean yeah, brownies. You, yeah, bring us beans. You know you can make brownies out of black beans. Yeah, I you know. Can... We're Flaming Fist. We do it all the time. We make everything what... out of beans. What do you think I was asking for? And Commander Liara... <laughs> enough, enough. This is... this is. Get out. Zodge, go do that so they can get out of my face. And Oh, if you could throw some cat treats on there. Cat treats. For slobber chops. What the hell is a cat treat? And for roller coasters. Anyways. Does Pretty food... tasty. Doesn't food yeah. work? <laughs> pull out yeah, like cat, a, cat a little food. piece of dried meat. You want dried meat is what you're telling me. We'll cut into little pieces for an appropriate... Here, slobber shots. No, <laughs> no. You're cutting it yourself. Get out of my sight. And we will. Okay. Uh, a little while later, Zodge comes back uh, and waves you guys over, gives you some horses and a mule. Who's on the mule and cart? Uh, I'll take the mule and cart. If, if no one else uh, speaks up about it. Okay, Go you're ahead. on the mule and cart with Philaster. And uh, Rhea and the rest of you three have horses. And uh, the basilisk gate opens. Flaming fish soldiers hold back the tide of Elter Guardian refugees. You cut a path through these wretched souls whose wails intensify as the basilisk gate closes behind you. The dirt road cuts through the slums of the outer city, past the walled neighborhood of Little Kalimshan, which you stop at. Uh, and uh, Right along the way, I'm just like, did you see how hard it was for those guards to keep the refugees back? I could have had them cleared out in, like, moments. Gargoyles and I could have just... It, it would have been yeah, so they, easy to get out of the They're not trying to kill the refugees. They just uh, we we wouldn't the necessarily city. killed them. We would murder them. them. We killed one guy and lost our badges and aren't wanted back. What do you think would have happened? They definitely wouldn't have wanted... Them. No, they would have been <laughs> thankful. They, we would have done their jobs for them. Ah, it's, it's done. We're out of this city. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Gargoth says we can go back and fireball the disgusting filth outside of the city. I mean, we we could. We could just find some other disgusting filth, Gargoth. There's okay. disgusting filth like everywhere you look. That's true. Right. Uh, so Philaster says be right back and he runs inside and grabs a, uh, a book and uh, Hops back how, on. How nice is his house? It's a small house. Um, it's modest at best. Um, Got it. And this is the outer city, so this is not. This is yeah. Could be described as slums. Uh, he comes back out, hops back on the cart, and heads on 
you guys head on and uh, get to the great span of Worms Crossing. And I need everyone to roll a d20. <laughs> Do I want to roll the d20 that rolls high or the one that's a dice gel? <laughs> You don't know. Can't come out of dice shell if you don't give it a chance. It's got to be able to reform itself. That's why it's in jail, just so you know. It's not being punished. That's it's not being... what jail's for. <laughs> you don't reform people in jail in America. Are you somehow profiting off the dice being in jail? Then that is allowed and and yeah. and uh, applauded. <laughs> what did everyone I rolled a get? five, seven. 10. 15. All right. Great. That's everyone's passive perception. <laughs> Garbage. That's everybody's passive perception. Same as my roll, 10. 12. 13. Okay. Uh, 13. Crossing Worms Crossing, these two great bridges meet at a tall rocky island that rises from the middle of the Chiantar River. Buildings and merchant stalls line the sides of both bridges, making it impossible to see the river from the narrow, congested roadway that cuts between <coughs> those structures. Excuse me. Uh, wooden drawbridges connect the two bridges to a keep situated atop the middle island. The flags of Baldur's Gate and the flaming fist wave proudly above this fortress. As you're continuing to cross... It's very busy and packed, as I said. Jarvis, uh, people are passing and like their heads are a little above where the top of the horse is and they're like passing right by the horses. And you feel someone snag a small item from, try to snag a small item from your side. Uh, what do you do? I feel him trying to snag it? Yeah, his hand is like, he almost got, got away it. with it, and then it snagged on something on your belt. Am I able to, like, re without getting off the horse, am I yeah. able to go and reach for his arm as he's doing it? Yep. All right, I'm going to do that. And... Make an attack roll. What are you doing? What was it? Make an attack roll. Okay. Just to grab him. Bummer Add, clock. like, dex. Yeah. Um... Unarmed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a four. <laughs> okay, so he he sees that he's spotted and immediately tries to get away, and you try to grab onto him, and he slithers out of your grasp and takes off and gets lost in the crowd, and you lose him. But uh, you check your person, and you don't believe anything was taken. So I know what he was trying to grab. He was just. It's just reaching for whatever he can grab. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't cool. like anything specific. It was literally a crime of opportunity, which is not uncommon around here. Hey guys, we we need to be careful. I almost just got robbed while we were just going through this crowd. Whoa! Keep your I, eyes out. I move my wallet from my back pocket to my front pocket. Just kidding. It's a coin purse, but I make sure it's there. <laughs> uh. All right, so um, yeah, as Worm Crossing and Baldur's Gate disappear from view, you're finding yourself heading down the coast way, a dirt road that leads to such distant lands as Tether, Omn, and Kalanshan. Candlekeep lies some 150 miles south and west, a five day journey. Coming up on the road towards you is a human farmer riding on the front of a hay-filled wagon pulled by two draft horses. The farmer gives you a friendly wave as the wagon draws near. I t say to Gargoth, uh, he looks suspicious, don't you think? Uh, I'm yeah. making slobber chops wave. I've got him I'm like making his little paw wave back at him. Yeah, slobber chops is just like like he's he's cool. He's just so chill. It's just he's he's down for it. Um, uh, there's also three pretty built people with 
him, which logically you might think are his sons. Uh, the farmer waves you down and uh, asks you to stop. Do you guys stop? Um, I I rear the the yeah, cart I'll in, stop. Um, but I keep a good distance. Not I don't stop right next to him. Um, I stop and I just say, "What do you need?" Squint in. Your lives. Roll initiative. He's taking notes. Whoa! <laughs> I knew I. As as he says that, his form drops from that of a farmer to that of. Uh... Let me pull up a picture. Some motherfucker. Ooh. I like these dice today. One second. You guys just look up Cambian picture. Oh, okay. Uh, this red, the true form of this red uh, fiend is shown and uh, he vaults into the air with its wings and let me grab my initiative sheet what did everyone get 25 to 20 21 what's your dex 2 or 15 sorry <laughs> wrong number uh, <laughs> low dex 19 to 15 16. That means it rolled a high number. Damn. 15 to 10. 14. 14. Who's got the uh, roller coaster, probably? Uh, 17 decks. I am lower. I am lower. 10 to 5. 5. Did I get everyone? Yeah, I got everyone. Uh, cool. So Jarvis, you're out first. There's three evil people uh, who are not fiendish with long swords drawn. A couple of them have heavy crossbows. Uh, and a flying red fiend. What would you like to do, Jarvis? Not stop and ask questions as I throw a firebolt at one of the evil dudes. <laughs> The veteran or the red guy? The... Not the guy in the sky. Okay. All right. So uh, roll your... Twenty-one. Yep, that hits. Five. You nail the veteran, and some of it gets absorbed by armor, but some of it makes it through. Uh, anything else? That is all. Oh, I dis all. I guess I also. I'm more on horses, so I do dismount from. Oh, actually, I can do fucking shit for my horse because I'm magic caster now. Yeah, I'm staying on my horse. Okay. Uh, you don't. And have I'm kind any of going to back up. Right? Uh, no, not yet. Okay. Um, and I do back away. Actually, I get my kind of horse to like back away, so I'm a good uh, 50 feet back away from because we're right now. How you're gonna he take said... some opportunities of t attacks because these oh, guys... he's like right in front of us. Yeah, you guys they asked you to stop and they were right up on top of you, so uh, yeah, got it. I thought when Kairos pulled us aside, we were pretty far away, so no. Awesome. Okay, then I will wait to do my getaway. Okay, it's Rhea's turn. Old Rhea. Old hey, angry Rhea. Angry Rhea. Rhea hops off her horse and screams out in anger uh, and draws her longsword and is going to smack the same one you attacked there Jarvis and is going to be successful on both of them 
quite easily. Uh, yep. Okay. Got it. She swings down with her long sword twice, hacks into this guy, and does a good amount of damage, uh, denting some of his plate armor, some of his armor. And it is Kairos's turn. Sweet. How high is the Cambion flying? It is about 30 feet high right now. Above. And the hay is not stacked high enough that I, you could theoretically climb it and get up to him? Okay. What hay? Did you say he was driving a hay-covered wagon? Did I? You did. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, the hay is like... Sure. It's, it's not a... a uh, like it's not a, a towering times, huge yeah. thing It's of not a, like a <laughs> combine's worth of... Yeah. Sure, sure. Um... <clears throat> I, uh, I I unsheath my morning star and I clink it against the shield and I say, you're up, Gargoth! And I launch a fireball up at the Cambion. Nice. Deck save? Deck save. Uh, DC is 21. <laughs> All right. That's, <laughs> That's what you told me last time. <laughs> that Seems is high. a 20 to save, so does not save. Okay. And that is 27 points of fire damage. Okay. Uh, you shoot off a fireball. The same things happen that you saw before. Uh, a ring of uh, light fire kind of appears on this shield and uh, converges in the center and then shoots off a growing fireball into the air at the Cambion and explodes with a massive boom and the Cambion gets knocked back and up into the air uh, doesn't look like it took the full force of the um, fire damage as you would imagine uh, sure meta wise um, I hop down off of the uh cart in front of a different veteran than the other two mm -hmm. were attacking. Okay. Um, you engage with just, them? I engage with them, um, and I and I say to Gargath, see dirty filth everywhere you look. <clears throat> and that's my turn. Okay. It is now the veteran who you stepped in front of's turn, and he's going to take his long Wrong. sword and... Uh, okay. Make an attack twice. <clears throat> and that is 23 and 22. Both hit. Ow. Ouch. Ow. 14 slashing damage. Cut. This veteran cuts into you with great practice and uh, is looking up at what just happened and then looking at you and is doesn't look as confident as they once did I smile back Rolikos. Um, how, how many do I have on me if I were to move you would have one with an opportunity attack currently I will take the attack and use my feline agility to move 60 feet back does a 16 hit? It does. That is 10 slashing damage. Okay. How many feet back do you want to move? Uh, 60 with my feline agility. Okay. And then I am going to bonus action hunter's mark the guy in the air, the demon. Uh -huh. And then take my two attacks with my Dread Ambusher, both of them Sharpshooter. Okay. First one is a 16 to hit. And the second one is also a 16 to hit. Both clink off its scale mail. No. 
Okay, then that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Jerry? I'm going to go after the... Uh, I'm assuming it was the veteran that uh, Rhea yes. got damaged a little bit. Okay, so I, Jerry leaps off <clears throat> his horse and swings his great axe at this guy, and he rolls a 25. Yeah, that hits. And uh, he rolled bad on damage, so he only does 8 damage. Okay. But he, I, he's raging, by the way. Excellent. That includes your rage damage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I rolled a 2 on the tw- on the d12. All right. It is now Veteran 3's turn. Rollercoast just ran away from this vet. So this vet is going to attack Rhea. Ray, 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 Ray. Longsword attacks. Uh, one of them hits. And that is eight. She's kind of blindsided by this veteran nearly flanking her. Takes a glancing blow while dodging another. That is the veteran's turn. And it is now Veteran One's turn, who's next to Jarvis. And it's going to try to smack you with the longsword. Uh, one of them misses oh. completely. Yeah, that one's probably going to hit me. <laughs> and the other one is a 22 to hit. Yeah. My mage armor wouldn't have done anything for that one. <laughs> And that is six damage, slashing damage. Okay. Now it is Philaster's turn. Philaster on the cart is going to pull out his hand crossbow. Take a shot at one that just hit you, Jarvis, and is going to barely hit, but hits, and does five damage. Kink! Right into the shoulder, collar bone area. It is now Kadrus's turn, the Cambion. going to fire ray you Kairos for obvious reasons yep 13 hit no sir disappointed it's going to fire ray again reasonable it's going to go for a 22 that does hit out of its Spear, these two rays, one misses, one connects. It hits you for 11 fire damage. And I chuckle as I only take 5 fire damage. Okay. And uh, it's going to fly even higher is now 100 feet above you guys and that's its turn back to the top of the round Jarvis alright is it it an action to dismount or is it just part of my movement we'll just say it's part of your movement alright so I am going to dismount and bonus action uh Bonus action, I forgot the name already, uh, Shadow Blade, so Magical Sword appears in my hands, and I'm going to act, use my action to cast Mage Armor. Okay. So. And that's it? Yep. Okay, Rhea is going to smash on the most wounded veteran. A natural 20 and a hit. Both ones on the damage, unfortunately. That's 
seven slashing damage. Kairos. Uh, my eyes flash orange. My shoulders are wreathed in flame as it courses down my arm into my morning star. And I look at the veteran in front of me and I say, my turn. And I miss. Um, <laughs> probably at least. <laughs> That's a uh, 14 to hit. Okay. Yeah, that misses. And I miss. But my mace, my morning star say, stays, uh, stays flamey. All right. That so, is my turn. Uh, in during your turn, you hear Gargouth say, "I think I'd like to play." And this dark gray it quickly dissipates as it uh, gets further away from the shield. Uh, a complete circle around you shoots out and those of you within around you need to make a wisdom saving throw which includes Jarvis Jerry and two three all three of the veterans Veterans all fail. Jarvis? 15. Fail. 11. Fail. What have you done to us? Uh, I did nothing. This aura of dread. Uh, any creature hostile to you, so not you, I got, actually. Shouldn't have had you guys roll. Uh, you guys are fine. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was good tension building. Um, it was. <laughs> any creature starts its turn hostile to you makes a saving throw on a failed save the creature's frightened until the end of its next turn sweet and uh yeah so it is now the veteran's turn and the he's just gonna run and Jerry and Kairos you get an opportunity to attack if you like with my shadow blade I miss again um, does a 9 hit no I miss then. I swing at him like, ah, give, give me. And I miss him with my axe. But I got a 10, and I also missed. 17? No. Actually, yes. Oh, cool. 2 8 psychic damage. God damn it. 12 psychic damage. Okay. It's immune to psychic. No, I'm just kidding. Ha <laughs> It's like, really? Wouldn't no that be weird if a veteran psychic? just had that random... <laughs> this human has a very steel trap of a mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a veteran. He's seen a lot. He's a veteran. <laughs> In fact, his name is <laughs> Billy Steel Trap Mind. And it just fits. It's what he's known for. Mm -hmm. All right. Rollercoast. Um, I'm gonna take a shot at the veteran. He's the one that's wounded, right? Running away. Uh, yeah. There's there. The, one of them is already away, and yeah, one of them is gonna looking like it's turning to run. All right. Whichever one is the most hurt looking, I'll yep. take a sharpshooter shot at. Do it. And that's a eight. So that's a no. Anything else? That's it. Uh, okay. Jerry. Jerry. I take I take a swing at the closest veteran. I miss my axe. Bummer, Jer. Rolled an eight. Uh, veteran three is going to try to run. And you three get a opportunity attack. Yeah. Thirteen. No. Someone's getting smote. That's a 25. Yes. Um, so that's, uh, make sure I'm giving you the right numbers. One second. <laughs> 10 points of slashing damage, three points of fire damage, and he is on fire as he runs away. This vet is on fire. Because that was a crit or? 
for me. Um, yeah. I had smearing, searing smite, smearing smite. Smearing smite. You don't get till twelfth level. New Brian, smite. Just FYI. Uh, that if if you ring of the grammarian <laughs> me, I will surely come up with some great smites. <laughs> um, searing smite. I activated it. Uh, on my turn, but I haven't been able to hit anything yet, so it stays on for a minute until I hit something. What would smearing spite smite? It would just be like their facial features get smeared like a paint, and so they're blinded and can't smell and talk. I would well. say if it's a, if it's you know level twelve, I get it. So a higher level spell, I would do additional bludgeon damage, and if it drops them below a certain threshold, they they get smeared. Um, yeah, but what's the effect of the smear? Is it what I just described? That's what um, I. Would do. I I see more of like a splat of a bug on a windshield. Oh, okay. Like like they go on a on a full juice. They're juiced. Okay. <laughs> That's juiced. what I see. Yeah. But just like but just like viscous. Viscous juice. I was thinking OJ and I was like, that doesn't work, but it does. <laughs> juiced like OJ does. Juiced like OJ. <laughs> there uh, you go. Fantastic. <laughs> now we know. Please give me a ring of the grammarian. I'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy too. It's Philaster's turn. He's going to take a shot at the guy running. And he missed. A money shot? Yes. Vet 1 is now going to run. Let's get those. Oh, you guys have already used your reaction. Shit. What am I thinking? I gave you a free one, I think. Uh, no yes, big deal. Did. Yes, you did. Uh, Opportunity attack ca counts as reaction. Yes. Yes, Dave. Dave, did you hear me? Yes. Dave, I heard you. Okay, thank you. Wait, did Jerry hear you though? Yeah, Tell he Jerry. Heard you. Okay. <laughs> but did the cat get his opportunity? We're slobber chops. Slobber chops is chill as fuck still in the cart, just it's chilling, chilling, trying to get into some snacks. Because he knows he can get away with it. Because you ain't going to do shit. Uh, <laughs> fire Ray on Jerry. That is a 24 and a 21 to hit, Jerry. Yes, they both hit. It was 18 fire damage, not halved. That's from the fiend? From the floating, flying fiend above you, the red one. Any of you speak infernal? Uh, yeah. Yeah, all, everyone except me. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of that. Uh, so, the like fiend we we says to, to the veterans, you fools in infernal. You fools, Kudris will remember this. And that's it. Kudris? Kudris. K-A-D-D-R-U-S. What does it spell? Kudris. Jarvis, your turn. Go. Jarvis chases after one of the veterans that's running away, the one most damaged, and tries to slice him with his magical sword. How far can you be away? Uh... I can throw it 20 feet without it being long range. 30 feet. I'll move 10 feet forward. Okay. And I throw it and I miss. And it comes back to you? Is that how that works? Um, my next turn, I think it reappears in my hand. As a bonus action or just free? Just for free, I believe. If you drop the weapon or throw it, it dissipates at the end of the turn. Therefore, while the spell persists, you can use a bone. Oh, sorry, bonus action to uh, reappear in my hand. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not free. Rhea's turn. Rhea's going to drop her longsword. Rhea is going to pull out a massive crossbow from her back. It's going to shoot at the most hurt one and miss terribly as it misfires and shoots randomly off into the wilderness. Um, Kairos. Um, how far away are they from me? 30. Um, I'm gonna, I can make it. I'm gonna sprint up. Let me just double check. Fireball yep. water. Do you guys yep, want to yep. finish this uh, combat or call it and pick it up next time? 
Uh, I'm fine either way. Finish it. I'm good. Okay, yeah, let's finish it. Okay. Finish it. Um, so I'm going to run up and uh, try to hit the one that uh, still is, is still on fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, f I picked my target. That's a 21 to hit. Yes. And I rolled d6s, which I'm not smiting, so I don't need those. Um, but the d8 I do need, and it does 12 points of damage. Okay. Anything okay. else? And that... Yep, that's going to be it. How much damage does it take when it's on fire at the beginning of its turn? A d6. A d d d d d6. Want me to roll it? I rolled better than... I, at least it's good Go as you could it. have done. Go for it. It's a great roll. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> okay. As it uh, catches and possibly a greasy hair problem, some product this guy puts in his hair really catches at all of a sudden on the back of its head and guys screaming like crazy uh but he's going to run and you get you kairos get an opportunity attack and he's gonna dash after that i will take it that is uh i don't think that hits 16 15 uh 15 uh, that doesn't. Um, but actually, it's no longer frightened, so it's going to turn and hit you. I thought this was an ongoing effect. Ah. Bring it. One misses, and the second miss is probably because it's freaking back of its head is on fire. Uh, <laughs> Rolikos. I'm going to take my shot at the one that is on fire. Rokokos. And that is a mod 20 to hit. Mm-hmm. That's three plus three. Six damage. Nice. Yeah, these two veterans are very fucked up. One of them is less so. Uh, Jerry. Uh, Jerry's going to attack the less so damaged one recklessly. Wait, run, what is that? run 30 feet. Oh, so they're pretty far. Um, You'd have to run 30 feet to get to any of them. Yeah, I would run 30 feet okay. with my axe. <laughs> Attacking recklessly. Oh, God. Nice. That worked out. Uh, so it's a 25. Yes. Damn it. Um, only nine damage. All right. Nice hit. The vet you just hit is going to turn around and smack you with advantage because you did recklessly. Yep. A 22 on the first one and a 22 on the second. <laughs> that would have hit me either way. <laughs> yeah. And 21 points of slashing damage. Not halved. Ballister's turn, he's going to take a crossbow shot. Natural 20, Ballister, get some. The money shot. Money. 12 piercing damage. Because he's a Ballist, you know. I get it. We're making uh, penis jokes yeah, tonight, yeah, and I'm yeah. for it. Getting nothing for that one. No, I. It was one of those things where I thought it was funny, but I, for whatever reason, didn't laugh. <laughs> but I, I promise you, I thought it was funny. It's hard to laugh when you're a DM. There's it's a lot going time. on in this head, Dave, <laughs> right now. It's, it's, it's hard. Okay. <laughs> I'll bet it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we still doing player inspiration? Because <laughs> if we are. <laughs> That only happens when I TPK, which I've never had, so it never happens. Uh, where was I? Oh, Falister, and then uh, Veteran 1, which I believe was Senor Jarvis attacking. Senor Jarvis is going to turn around and come after you with two longsword attacks. Is it no longer, did I miss something and it's no longer frightened from Correct. Tyrus? Correct. Oh, I missed that. Kairos never frightened them. 
Gargaff, right? Yeah, it wasn't Kairos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So blame. A 16 and a 21. Uh, yeah. Uh, the 16 does hit. Okay. 21 and, yeah, slashing okay. damage. Ouch. Uh, yeah, I'm on the ground. Are you unconscious? Yep. The wizard goes just, down. That was just enough to do it. And the shadow blade <laughs> is no longer a thing. <laughs> it wasn't a thing after I threw it anyways. I mean, it's definitely not going to... It's definitely really not a thing because I broke concentration. It's now the Cambian's turn, seeing Jarvis on the ground go down. It's going to share one of its fire rays for Jarvis. And you fail a death saving throw. Or two. Is it two? No, is it a one. ranged attack? Yeah, it's one. Two if it's melee. Yeah. One if it's yeah, it's one. But he's prone, so it's disadvantage. It's okay. Oh! You're welcome for the disadvantage. Uh... You're lucky you don't pass out standing up. Sir. <laughs> this, this just misses. Uh, and the next one's going for Jerry, which has advantage, I think, because of Reckless. Yep. Uh, 25. Certainly. Certainly. Nine fire damage not halved. Jarvis, death save now. Natural 20. Yay! <laughs> Isn't wow. that... That's two uh, successes, right? Yeah, you're back up, though. Okay. But you have one <laughs> level of exhaustion, so take note of that. Oh, that's dope. Remember? I mentioned this to you guys. Many you did. Re refresh me, I forget. Well, you what? can just click exhaustion on your character sheet, or you can look it up while I keep yeah. going through the turns. Will do. Uh, Rhea's turn... Ray is going to go after the guy that owned you. Because she's cool like that with her own very own longsword. One of them is going to hit. And that's full damage. And that's going to take him out of existence. Uh, Rhea, you wake up, look, you look up, and you see Rhea run up miss the first one and coming back up slices through his neck and part of his face and he hits the ground veteran one is dead and she looks at you glaring and doesn't turns her head back around for the next victim because she's super dark now and hardcore so edgy edgelord.com kairos don't cut yourself on those edges there, Rhea. Mm -hmm. um, so the dude on fire is still standing in front of me? Yes. Barely. Looks like he's going to continue standing for the time being. Uh, <laughs> bummer. Did. But he may die. But he may die. He may turn. die. He is still on fire. Roll, roll a d6. Uh, yeah. Oh, I totally meant to. Six. That's just what you needed. You had a one six chance of taking him down. That that hair grease, man. It it's smells. A, this is this is this is a PSA. It smells Watch bad. Watch out for the hair grease, so guys. You, you once he goes down, you start smelling what, and it's not. You've never smelled anything like that. You're definitely wondering what he put on his hair to make it so flammable. Done. Roll it Done. I am going to take a shot at the guy in the sky. The eye in the sky. The eye in the sky. It's a 17 to hit? 17 does not. All right. That would be the end of my turn. Jerry. Attacking recklessly. Ooh. It's in the air, Jerry. Do you want to throw anything at him? Yeah. I'm throwing my javelin at him. What's the range on your javelin, Jerry? Uh, I think it's like... 60 or something? Let me see. Total? That's the longest? I think it's 6120. 
You can just get yeah. on the low 30, range. 31, 20. Yeah. yeah, so you can. he's out of 30, so you'd have disadvantage throwing your javelin. Uh, but what about, how does it work with uh, recklessly, recklessly it would, though? It would go, if recklessly works for range two, then it would just be a normal roll. Okay. Well, should I just re-roll? I just re-rolled, I, I rolled, rolled yeah, re-roll. recklessly. There's nothing for me on the ground to fight, right? Um, Is that what you, do you? The two, you, the two veterans are dead, right? Yeah, there's another one though. You can get another one. Oh, okay. I'll just I'll just keep my original roll then, and I, right. I rolled a twenty-four. Yes. So damage. <coughs> nice. Uh, that is eighteen damage. Damn. Cleave this guy's arm nearly off. Yeah. Mm. Starts making that noise. Mmm. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, like copies. Well, actually, it's too late to that. I was gonna say he copies uh, Kairos. And he's, uh, he uses his tagline, or what? What was it like? Uh, I forget what it was. Never mind. I don't and remember tagline. <laughs> I don't think he had say a lot of things. You said something in a deep voice. You were like, "Um, I said my turn earlier." Yeah, my turn. <laughs> nice. That vet is gonna nice. retaliate on you, Jer. Reckless, right? So it's advantage. Yeah. Is it that guy's turn, or is he? He is goes he right after you. Oh, okay. This veteran hasn't been hit at all. No, he's been hit. Oh, once, okay. Twice, three times. Oh, okay. A lady, yeah. <laughs> I forgot this guy was even here. <laughs> hey, ladies can be veterans too. I wasn't saying they can't. Sixteen to hit here on the first one. <laughs> Ty goes to attacker. Yes. Yeah. And hits. another 16. Yeah, they both hit. In fact, Rhea is a veteran. So. There you go. 18 slashing damage from this veteran. Whew. Jerry's starting to look pretty rough. Well, I don't know. I don't know what rough is, but he's. I, he's I, not... I think I'm looking rough. Yeah, you're <laughs> you looking have one rough. hit point. <laughs> and exhausted. Jerry's taken a lot of damage this battle. But luckily, it's halved. I hate, I'll be honest, I hate hearing a totem bear barbarian complain about taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could add up all. I mean, I, I've taken. It really makes me just want to. I've taken harder. 64 <laughs> damage so far. <sighs> Gargoth turns into a Gundam and starts launching <laughs> nuclear missiles at Jerry. Oh yeah, I take half damage. Fucking they're, they're, si- they're psychic missiles. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bear totems. Where was I? Falister's turn. He's gonna shoot at the guy attacking you, Jer. Hits. Nice. Falister has only missed once, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, not very much damage, but still worth it. And it is Kadrus's turn. He's gonna look back to Kairos and is going to fly down and I ray both times on Kairos. Did you say I ray? I meant fire ray. Oh, okay. I, I don't know I was why. About to say, Whoa, did no idea why I said I ray. <laughs> Maybe because I am itching to run a Beholder. It's because you love Beholders, Jake. I know you love Beholders. I fucking do. 17 on both fire rays. Uh, Gargout. He's, he's, this is his moment to shine as he uh, deflects both of them for me. Okay. I see it's 18. Okay. Uh, Kadrus is within 30 feet now. Probably close the distance next turn if you don't. Yep. And... Yep. Jarvis. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to mind spike. Send your asshole, Mr. Fly himself. Okay. What does that require? That is a wisdom save of 14. Fail. That is 3d8 psychic damage. If you go invisible... Or go anywhere within the next hour, 
as long as I don't break concentration, I know where you are on this planet of existence. And three eight psychic damage. And nineteen damage. Nice. And um, I'm still I'm not in range of him, so I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna run like a little bitch. As a good wizard should do. Unless you're a blade singer. Yeah, the only reason I stayed up close is because I didn't want to take the opportunity to attack. So I just pulled out the shadow blade. Ray's turn. Heavy crossbow. Veteran three. Let's go. Nineteen. Oh, fucking damage rolls for her suck. Two piercing damage. Really? Two piercing damage? Rolled a one on damage, dude. Wow. Kairos. Um, I'm going to uh, utter the Doomer has chosen you and Hunter's Mark the Cambion mm -hmm. as a bonus action as I'm running towards it. Um, I'm going to try to bring my mace down on its face. Morning star. My morning star down on its face. <laughs> I know what weapon I carry. That I don't. 20... I make the same mistake. So <laughs> it's a twenty one to hit. Yes. That is eleven points of uh piercing damage and two points of hunter's mark. I guess that's just piercing damage as well. So thirteen points of that damage, and I'm going to smite him as well. Smitten. Smitten, and uh, I believe he's a fiend, correct? Mm -hmm. So I do extra damage as a bright silver flash uh, sparks from where I connect. Okay, so that's another, another 15 points of radiant damage to him. Wow. What is that 28 points of damage? Not bad. Not bad. You kill him before he hits me again. <laughs> I thought a veteran took you out. Oh no. It was him. Gotcha. No, you're I think it was a veteran. A actually. veteran took him out and then Yeah. And then uh oh, no, he, he fired a fire yeah. ray at him. Right, right. Because he's bad like that. He did miss that though, is... both times. Rollercoaster. Uh, he only shot no. one fire ray at you. Rollercoaster. Oh, okay. I shoot the Cambion. It's a uh, nat two. Nope, not gonna do it, Rollercoaster. That'll be it. You need I'm to spend your turns tonight. tuning your bow. Or yeah. <laughs> Real quick, that that radiant uh, damage. So the Cambion's yeah. on the ground now. I missed that. Go ahead, Kairos. Uh, that radiant damage. What did it appear normal, or did he appear particularly susceptible? To normal. That? Okay. Carry on, Jerry. Thank you. So is the Cambion on the ground now? Yeah, about. Okay. It's basically. On the ground. Attacking recklessly. You're next to the veteran, so you're gonna take an opportunity attack if you want to get to the Cambion. Why? Because I have to run away from him to yeah. swing the axe. Yeah. yeah. They're not next okay, to each I'll just, other. We're, yeah, we're not next. I'll just keep it. I, I keep on assuming that veteran is going to be dead by the, my next turn. Well, you uh, have to make him dead. So, 15? <laughs> on the veteran? Yeah. yeah. Uh, No. Okay, well, he swings, he misses on the veteran then. God damn you, veteran. <laughs> Someone else kill him. But he's going to turn to you, Jerry, and say, I'm going to make you dead. No, you're not. Did you swing recklessly? <laughs> yeah. So I get advantage. Yeah. 15 to hit on the first one? No. <laughs> 12 to hit? No. Nope. Darn it. <laughs> That's the first time someone's missed me. <laughs> Ballister's turn. He's going to shoot a vet at the vet. Uh, he's going to hit. Probably going to roll a one on damage, though, because that's just how this works. Nope, rolled a six, so a good amount. It is now the Cambion's turn. The Cambion is going to 
start waving his hands in the air and it's gonna fuck you and just disappear out of existence whoa but I really want to kill him do I know where he went because I mind spiked that bitch is it on this plane no I can only do this plane yeah so you don't, you don't know it's he's no longer on this plane yeah. is what you know and then the mind spike fades But the veteran's still alive and much more scared now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like six on one. We should be able to take him out. Jarvis. Uh, I'm sad now. I'm going to just firebolt him. Uh, seven, 18. Yes. Hello. Yes, it hit. Well, I, my Zoom just like crashed for a second. Okay, I wasn't sure if you heard me. Cool. I do a whopping one damage. Nice. All right, Reyes turn. Heavy crossbow. Veteran's face. That's a hit. That's a D10. That's a four damage this guy's barely hanging on he takes a crossbow bolt to the chest and he's basically just like put me out of my misery type of body language going on Kairos so there's a bunch of people standing around him right there's one because the other two hits were ranged attacks who's so the one standing Jerry. near him and Jerry how do you look rough yeah pretty rough but I don't know. It's halved. <laughs> yep, I'm going to do it. Uh, is he within 30 feet away? Yeah. I'm going to uh, charge him with Gargalth in front of him. I've been wanting to do this since I picked up the shield. Um, and I'm going to battering ram him, ram him but as I battering ram, um, I'm going to light up a fireball in his face. So you're going to take a fucking... Yep, I'm... I'm, I'm... <laughs> Full on ramming him. Okay. Everyone Putting roll dexterity, stuff. Jerry, Kairos, and Jerry, you're involved in this too. Sorry. <laughs> the veteran fails. I'm far enough I'm far enough away, right? Yeah. Cause I ran like a little bitch. Cool. Yes. Like a deck save? Dex a deck save. Eleven. I think you have advantage or no? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, I oh. believe you do. It's, oh you yeah, because I'm raging, yeah. You can see me coming, that's for damn sure. Uh, it did not help. <laughs> Um, I also failed uh, with a with a six. So the, you run forward, and the shield activates its flame spread, and it converges in the center and starts to shoot out and goes, boom! In but like flash. right when it converges, that's when I connect with yeah, the dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flash, hey guys. and the guy just va va vaporizes. He's How close are our horses? You'll find out. I mean, they ran. The veterans ran away at least one full turn. So that's okay. <laughs> I was like, if if our horses are even still there. Uh, you and I, since it's halved for both of us, take thirteen points of damage, Jerry. That's already halved for us. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a lot more than I thought that was going to be. <laughs> Fireballs are nasty, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry is very, very beat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's probably not feeling good after this one. You um, better lay the... on some hands on this guy. <laughs> but the, I'm... the veteran is vaporized, right? So we're um, out of combat. So I'm limping and bleeding as I walk back over to you guys. Uh, before you can walk back over to us, um, I, I immediately bear hug Jerry, um, and a flat and, and silver light washes over both of us and you get, uh, I'll lay on hands you a little bit. I'll give you 10 points of healing. I'll give you all 13 points back, actually. All 13. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's looking a lot better. <laughs> That's where we're going to leave it for tonight. Whew.
That's the most damage I've, I've taken as Jerry. And the only character. reason you're still standing is because you're a bear totem barbarian. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's what your job is to take hits. Take like you did a great job. I took like ninety damage. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> I'm out. Rollico sitting in the back, far away, just missing. Just yeah. With <laughs> At some point, he just put his paws down. It's just like, why do I even bother? <laughs> Anyways, we'll leave. I it gotta there. go. Yeah, we'll see. You Fun guys. time. Thanks for sticking around and finishing the combat. Be good to each other. Be good to yourself, and have a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> Gonna eat a tuna melt. Nice, Jerry. Nice. <laughs> Great sign off. Yes.